The self-restoration system is far from being done. Hi there. All good here. I guess I can throw Moggy down. Through this gap. No? I think it worked. Ugh. That's my mark. Okay, I think that might be it. The Academy has made progress on its investigation into the 13th Ark. At this stage, there is good news and there is bad news. Let's hear the good news first. We've discovered that the Ark's reactor is powered by an ore cluster, known as the Graviton Core. By collecting these, there's a possibility that the new cocoon will be up in the sky in no time. That is good news. Yeah, okay. So now you gotta hit us with the bad news. Each ore cluster provides only a certain amount of power. The 13th Arc, for example, requires a single Graviton core. We're going to need multiple cores that we can't seem to find. Need a hand with the search? If there's one thing we're good at, it's looking for weird objects. We could use the help. With you two on the case, we'll have those cores in no time. I'll put together some data on Graviton cores. Check in with the Academy front desk. Right, Graviton cores. Collect all the Graviton cores required to levitate the new cocoon. The scientists at the Academy need you to bring five different Graviton cores. Okay, there's a lot of work to do. Try asking at the front desk Academy on where to begin the search. Once you have the cores, return to the Academy. Okay. So yes, this is a... Like, before you have the final bit where it becomes super linear, you have this bit where it's branched out and you have to go out and get these cores. And I think after that, then the story will start to converge in on like the the ending, like that final long stretch. I can't believe it! You found a graviton core. If you don't mind, I'll just take a sliver from my research. Okay, so that was one that I've picked up. How many more did I pick up? I picked up gamma. Wow. This must have been tough to find. We'll be putting it to good use, though. Whoa. Well, thanks to you two, we almost have all the cores we need. Don't tell me I've got all five somehow. No, okay. Did I tell you? The director is inventing a new device. The Academy has been making progress on the development of a paradox weapon. Um. A very powerful weapon that feeds on time distorting energies. Using a paradox against itself, huh? Exactly. There's a possibility we may come up against the man who appears in the Oracle Drive recordings. The war has already begun, and we're fighting to protect the future itself. A battle to the end against Caius. But, Director, didn't you say you were missing a certain material? A Chaos Crystal. It's a solidified chunk of Paradox energy, but according to the data, it doesn't exist in this time period. Well, hey, you've still got us. And we've got the Historia Crux. I knew I could count on you. Once you've found the crystal, I can build you a prototype. Right, okay. I mean, I still think I need to find two more cores, do I not? Okay, so that's not too bad then. If I've only got two left out of um, out of the five, that's pretty good going. I don't know if I already ran into them as part of the story, if I managed to find them some other way, but in any case, I'm happy about that. So, because it really reduces the the fetch time. Let's see where the next one might be. <sighs> Alyssa told me all about you. 
You're helping us find the Graviton cores, isn't that right? And perfect timing. I just got an update with the latest info. This ore, is it really that valuable? Oh, yes. The Academy have sent survey teams all over the place. They've searched everywhere, but they haven't found a shard of the stuff. Hmm. But according to this latest data, our scientists use resonance imaging to identify a possible deposit. So we do have a defined location where a team can start looking. But it's just... It's just what? Well, it's kind of in a different time? <laughs> Sounds like a job for us, all right. Here, show me that data. <laughs> Right, uh, new Bodum. <laughs> Resonance of the day day 3 AF. Awesome, okay. I wonder if it's to do with those. No, it can't be. Alright, cool. And the Arshus Mountains. Okay, that's cool. Wait a minute. No, okay. Oh wait, how am I supposed to Wait, I know which ones I've picked up already. That's fine. We changed the future, but it still needs our help. I bet we can find that ore. They need a way to lift the new cocoon into the sky. And we can help them do it. Maybe that's why we've been brought here. Okay, so the quest is clear. We need to find this graviton cause and we need to hoist the new the cocoon into the, the sky. Area. So, I mean, this is like some legit world-saving business. I mean, think about what happened when we first came to Academia and think about how it looks now. We've done something like seriously important in human history by basically screaming at hope when we're fighting against the proto fallacy in the future. So, that's pretty crazy. Alright guys, I think I will return in the next session and we'll hunt down the two remaining Graviton cores and we'll see if we can hoist this new cocoon into the sky and what will happen as a result of that. What's up everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to more Final Fantasy 13 2. The last session we were trying to get hold of some Graviton cores and I think I got three of the five that were necessary and I had at least two more to get. So I believe one is a new Bodum. Uh, fragment Alpha Fragment research. Hold on. Categories. Graviton Call. There's seven. I thought we needed five. Maybe we need five to get through, but you can get seven. Right, so I need at least two more. I need to go to Yashis Massif, and I need to go to New Bodum, I believe. So we'll kick things off in New Bodum and try and get these Graviton Calls. And here we are, back to the place where it all started. It feels like we've come a long way. How long has it been? 18 hours. For some reason it feels like more. It feels like it's been about 26. I don't know, just a feeling. Sup, Discount Walker? Hey guys, you're back. Not that you've been away that long. A few hours ago, right? That's when we saw you off, but uh, look at you now. You've changed somehow. Like you've gone through a lot in a short time. So Noah was telling the truth about time travel and all that jazz. Don't tell the townsfolk about it, though. Who knows how they'll react. You gotta be tired. Go home. Get some rest. Yeah, I mean, uh, when Hope was telling us about the, the time travel stuff that he was doing... Hold on, why do I not have any music here? That's weird. Let me get into a battle. If there's no music here, something's happened. Sicky Jamal, man. Ah, there it is. Okay. I was worried that there's going to be no music. So, yeah, uh, Hope was talking about. Wait. Hope was talking about time travel and the fact that the device he had basically made time speed up for everyone else while the people within the device only experienced like a matter of hours. And that of course reminded me of the Christopher Nolan movie Interstellar. If you're if you're into that kind of thing, if, if that kind of stuff sounds interesting to you, the whole time compression and all that business, um, that's a really interesting film to check out. 
I'm sure most of you would have seen it or heard of it, but just in case you haven't, uh, it, it is a real mind bender, but it's definitely worth seeing. Come on, Mark. Come on. Uh, there we go. I'm hoping that this is it, because I I remember not being able to access this before. Hold on. Uh, aggression. I think now I'm strong enough to just change this to wide, so I can just take out um, weaker mobs more quickly. Ain't got no time for that. Sarachiena. I don't know what I'm doing. I've gotten too used to... Oh, I didn't even get an attack. I did not even get an attack in. It took six seconds. And I've got a Saras Sarasiena. Saracenia as well. Or Saracania. But yeah, these guys... I do love the NPC reactions at times. The way that they're excited by Mog. And this new fragment that's appeared. And there it is. Graviton Core Alpha. Fantastic. Um, I don't know if there's any value in heading back home here, whether whether we'll get some kind of new cutscene or something like that. <laughs> yeah, that the in reality, the like the theoretical elements of time travel, according to what our scientists have figured out up until this point, is really like quite interesting to read at a surface level. So even if, like me, you're not like super literate in, in physics or anything like that. It can make for some interesting reading about how as you approach the speed of light, time slows down, and the effects of that 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 will create and that kind of stuff. It's it's all it's all crazy stuff, but kind of worth reading about at least at a surface level if you're interested. What is he doing? Uh, are you giving this lady a hard time, bro? Uh, <laughs> maybe I think it's the opposite way around. He just, I think he just face palmed her. <laughs> see you guys are still alive. Slightly tattered, but alive. At least the journey's educational. <laughs> well, okay. I don't think there's going to be any story cutscene or anything here. And I'm not the biggest fan of Nora, but I thought, you know what, might as well come back. We decided to take turns looking after the cat. I'm stuck with the first shift since I came up with the system. I mean, it has been a few hours for these guys, so it's kind of normal. This is the only one that I like from Nora. I'm really glad to see you guys again. Is there anything I can do to help? See, always want to help. Such a nice kid. I mean, I don't know. Maybe he's like 25 based on this game. This guy could be 25, but to me, he's like a kid. Uh, quickly head home. Lebro. I know you tend to overthink things, Sarah, but we're here if you need to talk, and that goes for Noel too, of course. Okay, so. Can I, like... No, there's no prompt here to, like, sleep or do anything. Fair play, we just got the, the funky mirror. I mean, it does suit the house quite well, I think. It's a pretty nice mirror. Wouldn't want it in my bedroom, but... For this house, I think it works. Right, um... I don't need to even go back to the gate, to be honest. I think I can just, um... Head to the Historia Crux and go to the next one. Now, I believe the next one is in Yashus 100. Yes. The ancient city of the Farsi. There's a go. Right, is this the one that had the red orbs or is that a di Oh, well, there's my answer. So, I'm not sure if that's part of what we need to do here. Uh, Graviton Core 4 of 7. Right, we need Epsilon. Where was Epsilon? I need to remember. I think there was one in Erba. Yes, there was one in Erba. But there was one here as well. So, I think I should probably set about exploring. There's there's a few little bits that I haven't seen here. And we'll see if we run into it in the meantime. Very different vibe here though. Very orange. Hmm. 
Now with this whole Moogle throw thing, we've got to watch out. Why is this so slow? Come on. I'm really not having a good time here. There we go. That's better. I feel like if you really zoom through the story, this might be one of the shorter Final Fantasy games. If you don't really go to any of the optional places and you just and you have pre-prepared what the, the perfect route for the timeline is, then you could probably get it done, like even if you're not speed running at all or anything like that, in like fifteen hours, maybe seventeen hours, something like that. But there doesn't seem to be much around here. Oh, I've seen something. Let's throw Moggy. See, look again. That I think they, I think they're supposed to be rushing to see Mog. Clunky, clunky NPC AI in this game, but I like what they tried to do. I'll continue out towards the mountains. I do like the color palette, this version. I think it, it does look pretty, pretty cool. I did a ton of battling in um, in the Augusta Tower, so I'd rather not battle as much in this session if I can. We got the Dragoon as well, so we end up becoming like super powerful. So I think we're pretty OP as it is. Okay, got something else here. Maybe this is it? Is that a circle? I can't tell. No, it's a cube. Is that a sphere? I can't tell. Picture frame. Okay. No sign of the fragment yet. And this thing just eats up Gazar Greens like it's no one's business, so... I'm not going to get that. Okay, this is the bit I haven't been to. Another one of these. There are a lot of cubes around here. Oh, okay. So we've got some things happening here. Ten power chips. Now, now, okay, so there's a wild, there's a crystal gate over there. Does this have anything to do with the Graviton core that I'm after, or is this a whole different thing? Let me just quickly check this bit here first then I think we'll we'll enter the rift and see what it's all about it doesn't seem like it's here to be honest no fragment to be found that noise that is a demented ass chocobo it's got colors like a macaw ah hold on maybe we'll get a rematch with behemoth oh what's this is this a green chocobo get it ah well okay it came to me we need to take this thing out am i in still boss battle mode all right green chocobo Gotta work to take it down quick time. Wow, it's hardcore. It's a medic, man. I need more medics. Go, 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 go. 
just put all the moves on it. Everything we've got. 146,000. God damn. Okay, maybe while this launch we can take it down. I've got to time it so it can't land, otherwise... There we go. And then while I do this, hopefully the gauge will go back up. There we go. We got it. Please, let me have it on my team. I want it. <sighs> Damn it, we did it. We did everything right. We did everything right. Oh, I saw something glimmering. Is that my graviton core? I think so. That is massively good news. Excellent. Okay. So that's the next one that I need. Now I can head back to... Now I can head back to that crystal gate. Which way was it? This way. Okay, so good that I found the, gra the Graviton cores pretty quickly. I was fully ready to just go online and find out where they were. Because I wasn't going to spend like two hours running, running around looking at every nook and cranny for each one. But it wasn't too bad. I guess we can find out where this takes us as well. Oh, we've got a new puzzle. Okay. It's <sighs> a lot to read. The mystery of this temporal rift is known as the hands of time. To resolve this anomaly, you must erase all the crystal numbers from the clock face. You can choose any of the numbers from which to start. When you stand on a crystal number and press X, the two clock hands will move and the crystal you are standing on will disappear. Starting from the location where you're standing, the clock hands will tick in opposite directions. Come to rest in, e in positions... A number of spaces away equal to the crystal number that disappeared. Right, okay. Come to rest in positions at a number of spaces equals... I think I understand. You can now choose to erase crystal num a crystal number from one of the positions where the clock hands have stopped. Right, okay. Think carefully about where the clock hands will end up as you choose the crystal number to erase. If both clock hands stop in position but no crystal... Right. Okay, I think I remember this from a long time ago. This is a nasty puzzle, man. This is a nasty one. It's hard, but I don't know if that's like a, a good thing. Sometimes a puzzle being hard, like challenging, can be nice. But that doesn't necessarily make it like a, a well-planned, good puzzle. I don't know. Uh, I think that's right. See, now I think I've screwed it up, because this is going to go to the opposite side. Yeah, okay. Right. Woo! It's going to take some time. If I get this one... Yeah, I think this is going to work now. This gets the number two, and then the two is only two away from the three. Excellent. Okay. Don't, please don't tell me there's like three of these. Oh, fuck. Fook. Um, okay. Oh, wait. The situation's changed. We don't have a timer anymore. That's a good thing, but the bad thing is we're up to the number four, and there's more of these around than there was before. Right, need to get my thinking hat on. For some reason I feel like the four would be more difficult to deal with. Then again, the ones can get isolated pretty quickly, so I should probably deal with the ones. Um, no, that's not worked. Basically, the last two that you're going to leave have to be 
like that number away from each other, otherwise you're going to fail. So, let's say I want to leave... Oh, the number's in the same position. That's good. Let's say I want to leave the one over here. It has to be this one. So I have to leave this one and the one, the number one across it. So maybe that's the starting point. Alright, let's go. Let's just see what happens. I think trial and error probably is a good one. I think this might have worked, you know. Yeah. Okay, that's two. Do we have three? Of course we have three. Is it back to time again? Of course it is. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. If we try and leave the five and the one, we'll go from there. I'm probably going too quickly for this to be the right way to do it, but... Uh, one, two, three, four, and then the one will get left on its own, so that won't work. My only chance is to continue from here, but I think, I think this one's over. Yeah, because I'll get the four, but then I'll get stuck. Oh, wait, no. Actually, I did it. I think this was, this one was a little bit of a fluke, but hey, we'll take it. We will take it. Okay, Sh wait. Ah, no. Okay, it's not timed again. Now, these are sixes, right? Fuck me. Um, yeah, I think usually there's certain, there's certain like numbers that you can only reach in a very specific way. They're the ones you have to either start with or end with, I think. That's how I've understood it. Like, this number one is literally... It's, like, literally impossible to get. Yeah. It's impossible. So, that means you have to start with that number one. And then go to the three and do exactly what I did last time. That should be what I have to do. Um... Uh, now go remember the rest of the process. I think it was like this. Please don't fuck it up from here. Yeah, I think I got it. That goes up to here, this goes down to here, and then we get the six. So, it was finding out which one of them couldn't be made with any of the others. I think that's the key. Right, please now. That's four stages. Yes. Okay, that's good. Book of Valhalla. I wonder where, where this is going to take us. We've only got one wild artifact left. Should we consume it here? Yeah, whatever. Let's go for it. Sunless 400. Oh, I did a little bit of research. There's also a fragment here too. So that's good. AF. Let's do it. So I don't think this is part of the story, but I can get another Graviton Core. And well, we get to visit a new area anyway. So I think we should do this. Words out of the lips came straight from the heart. Never pre packed the got. The forest of Sunleth is a quiet place. I heard a voice. I cocked my ear towards the wind, 
And through the rustling of the green leaves, I thought I heard snow. As much as I'd hoped we'd run into my hero, it wasn't him that we encountered in the forest. Some weird noises. I think there's someone else here with us. Kubo! I hear a bunch of voices nearby, Kubo. Yeah, she seems to have forgotten about snow pretty quickly. She doesn't strike me as the kind of girl that would use the word cocked. Like, I can't imagine Sarah really saying, cocked my ear. This doesn't sound like her. 